Now for the air intake, you might want to pull that off, flip it around, and you go down. Yep. And that's just a, you, you can work out. That's the, the compressed starting air yeah, intake? That's where your air goes. Okay. And you, you will probably want to plan on a good ball valve. Okay, here we go. Here. Yeah. Because this valve doesn't necessarily seal. How much uh, pressure we need? Yeah. It's 250, I think, isn't it? Well, that's what the rating was, but you, I don't think you need to look at more than 200. That seems to be common. Almost everybody you talk to on these motors, 200 seems to get them to go. Yeah. No yeah, reason why guys uh, the we same can't thing. spin this 180. No. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You, you might just replace the gas, and that's nothing but a so that paper it down. gasket or something yeah. like that. Yep. Right there. Yeah. So, so when we out. started, do we have, we have to put it in the start position and then pull the ball valve? No, no. the only reason I'm saying put a ball valve there is because this valve slowly leaks back. So just the shut off. So, it'll leak so, so then when you start it, yeah, you're right. just going to go forward and then yeah. back. Yeah, you're pretty much going to go here, or it'll be here all... Uh, That's run, yeah. Yep. So to start it, you're just going to go forward, it's going to start forward. turning over. When it, when it starts firing and getting up to the feet. Okay. Okay. Well, it's Shut easy. The air off. Shut the air off. Finish. Simple. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, of course, those are your your air bleeds. You know, screw them in to open them. Okay. Uh, so you can turn the engine over. Mm -hmm. Did you already do that, or did you turn the engine over? We've we've, we've turned the engine over a couple times just to keep you it open loose. Those up to turn the the There's something on top they take off. Uh, now we have to open up these these bleeders yes. in order to start the air, start cranking it. Oh, okay. hand cranking. Oh, hand cranking. It's, just, it's a de it's a compression release. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Of it. So that's not a. Uh, that's not that a pressure release. That's well, it it you got it, to uh, it open. No, uh, no. If you screw it in, you open the back. Then you screw it in closer. Okay. Uh, the way they work it. So, but there's no spring behind it, so it's no automatic overpressure. No, no. Have a, uh, what he's thinking is, uh, these are these relief, relief valves as well, or are there are separate relief valves if there's an overpressure in the cylinder? There is no relief for an overpressure in the cylinder. I feel like the Atlas has a thing on the side with a spring and a, uh, and a machine uh -huh. cone that's up in there and it pushes against that spring, so it'll release yeah. right. over 750 pounds or something. I guess you're all supposed to be set for. Yeah. Right. Your ultimate, I guess your ultimate pressure release will be when the head comes off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put a new hole in the roof. <laughs> okay. And you see parts coming out. <laughs> yep. So. All right, so that's like part of the starting thing. Yes. You, you want to you, make you sure when we valves. start it. Now you're going to have to turn the crank to position for yep. start position. Yep. Then you're going to close all them valves and just push the lever and it'll fire right up. Mm -hmm. No problem. There's no wick. I thought those were no wicks or anything. No, this is a model 32. You're, you're probably... The, like, what is it, the Y? The Y. The type I, Y? I have a Y oh. with torches. Yep. So it's just no nothing. Just it should just start. Just compression ignition. Yeah, this is... Yeah. This is a... Uh, this is up to full diesel class at this point in their evolution. The Y was just before this. How about the water right. system? Of course, when you get your water manifold on, the bottom is where the water goes in. Yeah. And up top on the heads, there were just the little funnels with the. No, this or is it a manifold? I uh, had a full yeah. manifold, just like what will be on here. The, the header is up there go up and pull the water right out of the top of it. Okay, where those rags are stuffed in. Yeah. Okay, so just a little neck, goose neck to go from the head and into there. And it goes up and over and more toward the injectors where the... Yep. Yeah, so that's the hot the, side, right? So yeah. So it goes yeah. up into the pipe, hot water is going out that way. Okay. Either that way or that way, whichever okay. way you pump. All right. And this exhaust is water cooled, and isn't this, it? And this is all intake here, yeah, cold water, and this is liquid water cooled. Yeah, the water cooled. Uh, actually, you'll find on the bottom water manifold, you probably have some places where this, this goes in. Okay. Then are, are, these, are these water drains here? Yeah, they're drains. Hey, James, how do you come connected to this stuff? So we should 
should definitely take those off and make sure they're clean. Now, see, this, this is your air intake, though. And, and they're usually pretty simple and when they work. So it's just and, like a reed valve? Or? Yeah, it's just like, if you want to pull all the bolts out around it, pull the valve out, we can look at the whole valve. There, there's nothing really major in gas anything we're dealing with at this point. And, and you could even work, use it so, without a gasket. It's just as simple, it just sucks in one. Yeah, but, it, but if you want to look, in, look into the rod and see what all is in there, maybe, maybe we find a, dead, a mouse in there or something. <laughs> uh, Should we take these all off? Or, or that's no? up to you. If, if you want to look in, it might be worth looking in one or two just to see what's in there, whether we have a prod known issue. Yep. Right, so we can pop the maybe, other maybe before the startup we might do that, but if you pop want the other side just as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cuz all, all you're going to find here is is a little bolt of one section with it with some little springs around each one of them. Do you ever have a problem with those valve seating? Should we take them apart just to clean them? Uh, before we start it. I don't know that you need to. These these I think are pretty good. I wouldn't take these apart. I wouldn't take these apart. You might, you might if you want, you can pull the back out and look at it. But, we won't. But, but the, these look just fine. Normally, when you find them, either something broke these or somebody's done something trying to yeah. fix the product, cover up one, a couple of them because because they were weren't worried or stuck or rusted or you know, parts of it broken. Yeah. And then it creates a problem for everything else. But, but these are looking just fine. Well, this was in a yeah. stationary engine facility and protected. So, so it wasn't in a marine environment or anything. So it, it's not likely I would expect any trouble out of these. They yeah. all like that. So, normally, once you've got them together right and working, they tend to just work. 